Yeah, I'm Martin Capewell, I'm the Head of Estates for the East Midlands Reserve Forces and we're currently standing outside what was and what will become the Joint Cadets Centre at Brunel Road in Hinkley. Yeah, work has started behind me on demolishing what was the old 1920s, 1930s Joint Cadets Centre building. Um, the demolition will take about another week. Um, once that's complete, we'll then construct on this site a new Joint Cadet Centre uh, for use by 198 Hinkley Squadron Air Training Corps and the Hinkley Army Cadet Force. Both the ATC and the ACF probably have about 30 to 40 cadets each and with about three to four adult volunteers. So at any one time there could be up to eight people inside the building. Um, we're building classrooms, drill hall and a 2-2 range. So it'll be the normal classroom training along with uh, drill training and also uh, hopefully some shooting. Yeah, as you can see from behind me, the demolition is, is really well on. They're probably lasting now about a week to ten days. Uh, behind us was the old drill hall, um, a single storey building with a, with, a, with a pitch roof. That has now gone completely. Uh, to the left of that was also the start of the two storey building, which as you can see as well has also been, been well demolished now. Here will be a single storey type building, so here will be the main drill hall, the range and some of the classrooms, uh, whilst at the front of the building will be a two storey um, building which will incorporate a lot of the office space, the toilets, the kitchenette, that sort of thing. Yeah, hopefully as you can see they're picking out the metal behind me and they're also um, uh, saving all the woodwork, uh, the old timbers, a lot of those will go to recycling and will be reused, uh, also a lot of the rubble which is taken down is also crushed and reused on site. We're hoping, as you can see, the the main bulk of the demolition will be completed probably by the end of probably by the end of next week. We're hoping to get some concrete footings in place for Christmas. Still work to go up just early in the new year in January, and we're aiming to complete the whole project round about August, September, 2017.